Hi everyone, it's Mary from Mantras and Mangoes and welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be about bras and why I dislike them and why I don't wear them and why I believe that you shouldn't either. Okay, so let's get started. I have a few reasons to why I dislike them and why I believe we shouldn't be wearing them as women and... Yeah, so I'm just gonna like rant about this because it's been playing on my mind for ages and it's something I've wanted to share for a long time, but yeah, I just, well, I'm doing it now, so it doesn't really matter. So anyways, so let's begin. Reason number one, they are so freaking uncomfortable. They are tight and just, you know, they're just there and you feel restricted and they're either too big or too small or just really uncomfortable. Like how many times have you come home from a day out wearing an underwire bra and the first thing you wanna do is just take your bra off because then you feel like, yeah, you can be comfortable. You're not really truly comfortable unless you have your bra off. <laughs> reason number two, which maybe falls under the category of number one as well, the reason number one, is that I can't breathe when I wear, wear it. I feel so, yeah restricted and I feel like I can't get a full <gasps> breath in like it feels so tight all the time and I like can't breathe I just I can't breathe reason number three studies have actually shown that it cuts off your circulation you can see when you take off your bra the lines underneath here and here that's all blood flow like important blood flow not getting to your skin and your flesh and it is blocking your lymphatic system and the lymphatic system obviously as we all know is so important for draining and circulating and removing toxins from your body and you're blocking the main ones here that like in your auxiliary nodes under your arms and everything and that can cause like breast cancer and it can cause like toxins going to your brain and just so bad for you and yeah reason number four was going to be like it can cause breast cancer i mean there have been studies shown that it does link to breast cancer and others shown that it doesn't link to breast cancer but at the end of the day what does every large company out there want that makes a commodity they want your money they're just like any other company that just wants your money so they're probably making their own studies showing that breast that bras don't cause breast cancer but you are blocking like important lymph nodes here and your auxiliary nodes and that's usually where breast cancer develops and like other lymphoma um, cancers and things like that and reason number five why I don't wear bras is because they're so expensive like they oh my gosh I remember last year um, when Bo and I were traveling because I'd lost so much weight none of my bras fit me and I got to the point where I wasn't wearing any bras and I thought oh, okay I, got, I should start wearing bras again because I thought that I had to you know and you know if there's nothing wrong with wanting to feel feminine and beautiful and you know be sexy in bras and underwear but at the end of the day did society create that image for us that we have to wear bras and underwears like lacy kind of stuff to f to f be a woman and feel feminine like free the nipple you should be feeling like feminine and beautiful naked like free nippling like just showing off what you have like anyways like i just don't get it like they are super expensive anyways back to my story i had to buy new bras and they cost me like 90 dollars each because i'd lost weight and that's the thing breasts change so much they change during your period they change during pregnancy they change during weight loss through like hormonal changes a lot of things that they fluctuate a lot so yeah it's just a waste of money having to buy new bras all the time anyways i have thought of a few ways of not having to wear bras and ways that you can get away with not wearing a bra and I feel like this is going to change your life and you know I haven't worn a proper bra for the last like you know six or so months I did a little bit when I was traveling like certain times when I went out because I felt like I had to with certain clothing items but now I'm catering myself and my clothing and what I wear to suit me and my breasts if that makes sense so step number one a way that you can not wear bras is get over it everybody it is just a nipple just like a guy's nipple like what's the big deal um I grew up in Germany as a young child and 
I remember going to the pool there and everyone was just naked and going to the beach and everyone was naked and it was just liberating. No one cared. And then I moved to Australia a little bit more, you know, conservative and getting your boobs out was like a massive thing. Like, how dare you show your breasts in public? Like, you know, it's human body. It's natural. What do you think we did? Thousands of years ago, as Neanderthals, living in the caves and stuff, do you think we wore t clothes and bras? Uh, so, yeah, self-love as well falls under that. Like, who cares what people think? Love yourself and love your body and, yeah, embrace it. Embrace your nipples and your breasts and they are part of you and the person that you are and you're a woman and you're beautiful and, yeah, so... Way number two that you can get away with without wearing a bra is buy clothes that are going to suit you and your body shape. Some people have smaller breasts so they can get away with wearing like clothes, anything really, without a bra and yeah, making it look good for them. Me, I have kind of larger breasts. I'm about a C cup now and now I just have to find clothes. Like I wear a lot of loose dresses, a lot of whole, like shoulder and triangle kind dresses that give me kind of a cleavage but I can still not wear a bra and I'm even wearing a kind of singlet here where oh, I'm not wearing a bra as you can see because it has like an inbuilt kind of crop top there if you can see it and I feel like that's really good and I'm really comfortable and it suits me. Another way that you can get away with not wearing a bra is bralettes. Now I absolutely love these. I own bralettes. They are the best. I'm going to show you. This is a little bralette. As you can see, this one cost me like $5 from Kmart. It was so cheap. And literally, it is so cute. It's not underwire. It's literally just a little bit of elastic. I got it a size bigger because I didn't want it to be tight or cutting off my circulation. So, yeah, this costs like $5. Yeah, I also have like a Calvin Klein one as well. I absolutely love this bralette. It is super comfortable, really soft, and the elastic is quite large as well and not tight at all. And I like live in this pretty much if I'm not wearing a bra and I need to go out. And another way to get away with it is buy one of these like bands. Not the sexiest thing, but they are really good. They just give you a little bit of shape if you're a bit self-conscious about showing your nipples and stuff. But they're good. They're just a band that you can wear under anything. And you can get these in like skin colour, like beige, white, black, grey, any colour really. So they are super handy as well. And it just sucks that in society today that we're made to think that, you know, if we show a little bit of nipple through a top, like, gosh, it's taboo. I mean... I don't get it. Where did that come from? So, yeah, I know a lot of people might have to wear a bra for, like, their jobs and stuff. So, those options, I think, would be a great idea as well. I just wanted to put it out there as well that, like, you won't have saggy boobs if you don't wear a bra. Wearing a bra actually weakens your breast muscles and allows, like, doesn't make them, like, contract and hold up your breasts because they don't need to. Like, they're, like, relying on that. Like, for example... If you wore a neck brace your whole entire life to support your head, if you ever took it off, like, your neck would just, like, flop. It wouldn't know how to use those muscles. It's really, like, similar to breasts. And, you know, if you're active and you're relatively healthy and fit, you're going to have great breasts anyways. And you know what? After we have children and we breastfeed or whatever and they become a little bit saggy, like, embrace it. Like, you're a mother you're beautiful, you gave birth, and you fed your child. So yeah, that's my video. I'm going to wrap it up there. I just really wanted to get it out there that seriously, it is life-changing not wearing a bra. And I feel more confident within myself. I feel like my posture's got uh, so much better. My boobs still look great, like I think they do, and my boyfriend seems to think they do. I don't know why it's made taboo, and we should really change it. We should free the nipple. We are all like beautiful human beings and we should be like flaunting ourselves i mean i'm not saying like walk around topless everywhere so yeah um i hope you guys really enjoyed my talk about boobs and nipples and bras and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'd love your opinion on bras and how like your experience and everything so yeah comment down below and i'll reply as soon as possible and yeah don't forget to add me on instagram snapchat patreon Facebook and check out my blog for coaching and for t-shirts. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video.